On 26th April, we commemorate St. Peter of St. Joseph de Betancourt, also called Pedro de San Jose Betancourt, who was a Spanish saint and missionary in Guatemala. Known as the St. Francis of Assisi of the Americas, he is the first saint native to the Canary Islands and is also considered the first saint of Guatemala and Central America for having done his missionary work in those American lands. He was the founder of the Order of Our Lady of Bethlehem. St. Peter de Betancourt was born on 19th March 1626 in the Canary Islands. Peter was a descendant of Juan de Betancourt, one of the Norman conquerors of the Canary Islands. His immediate family, however, was very poor and he started work as the shepherd of the small family flock. His parents raised him soundly in the faith and his contact with nature nurtured his deeply contemplative soul. As a young boy, Peter learned to see God in everything around him. When Peter heard about the miserable living conditions of the people of the West Indies, which is present-day America, he felt called to take the Christian message to this land. In 1650, when he was 23 years old, he left for Guatemala, where a relative had already gone to become secretary of the governor-general. His funds ran out in Havana, so Peter had to pay for his passage from that point by working on a ship which docked at Honduras from where he walked to the Guatemala city. Peter was now so poor that he had to stand in line for his daily bread at the Franciscan friary, and it was here that he met Friar Fernando Espino, a famous missionary who befriended him and remained his lifelong counsellor. He found Peter a job in a local textile factory. In 1653, Peter realised his ambition to enter the local Jesuit college in the hope of becoming a priest. He showed little aptitude for study, which led him to withdraw. Here, Providence once again helped him as he met Father Manuel Lobo, who became his confessor. Friar Fernando invited Peter to join the Franciscan order as a lay brother, but Peter felt that God wanted him to remain in the world, and in 1655 he joined the Third Order of St. Francis. From then on, Peter dedicated his time to alleviating the sufferings of the less fortunate in the midst of inexpressible toil and difficulty. He became the apostle to African-American slaves, subjected to inhuman labor, the emigrants and abandoned children, with ever-expanding generosity and deep humility in total abandonment. To God's will, inspired by the charity of Christ, he became everything to everyone. In 1658, Peter was given a hut which he converted into a hospital for the poor, who had been discharged from the city hospital but still needed to rehabilitate. It was called Our Lady of Bethlehem. He also founded a hostel for the homeless, a school for poor and abandoned children, and an oratory. Peter received help for these foundations from both the civil and religious authorities. He begged for arms to endow the masses celebrated by poor priests and also endowed masses to be celebrated in the early hours so that the poor might not miss mass. He had small chapels erected in the poor sectors where instruction was also given to children. Every year on 18th August, he would gather the children and sing the seven joys of the Franciscan Rosary in honour of the Blessed Mother, a custom still continued today in Guatemala. He was joined by men and women who became the Bethlehemite brothers and the Bethlehemite sisters and formulated a rule that included the active apostolate of working with the poor, the sick and the less fortunate, based on a life rich in prayer, fasting and penance. The Bethlehemite congregation was thus established. Peter died on 25th April 1667 at 41 years of age. Throughout his life, the child of Bethlehem was the focus of Peter's spiritual meditation. He was always able to see in the poor the face of the child Jesus 
and to serve them devoutly. He is known as the Saint Francis of the Americas. His life, marked by a heroic holiness, is a shining testimony of faithfulness to the hospital. Saint Peter was canonized by Pope John Paul II on 30th July 2002 in Guatemala. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us pray. Almighty Father, you distinguish Saint Pedro de Betancourt precisely by the humble spirit and austere life with which he practiced mercy. Help us to generously remember the poor and marginalized in our prayers and material support, and that we may always teach the love of Christ by the witness of our lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.